Today, we're gonna check out two insect repellent systems from Thermacell. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm frequently asked how I ward off bugs, insects, and more importantly, mosquitoes when I'm out hiking or camping. As many of you can imagine, out here in tropical Singapore, mosquitoes are everywhere. Aside from being pesky little pests that suck your blood and leave you with itchy welts, some of them also carry dangerous diseases such as dengue fever, malaria, and the Zika virus. I've tried organic and all natural options such as these, lemongrass, citronella, and lavender sprays, and while they smell awesome and also kinda work, they don't work that well. So for all my outdoorsy adventures, I rely on the off insect repellent. It is really easy to use and lasts for a decently long time, even if you perspire like crazy as I do. However, in the event where I do miss a spot such as these hard to reach lower backs, then I will still be donating about a pint's worth of blood. I think it was my first week in the army when I first heard the term commando mosquitoes. And yes, the mosquitoes here in Singapore and Southeast Asia as a whole are indeed highly trained commandos. With that said, I was recently asked and recommended by some of you to try out the Thermocell systems, so here we are. Like all my past review videos, this is not a sponsored product nor video. All right, let's get a closer look. What we have here is the MR9L Outdoor Lantern, the MR300L Portable, and a holster clip for the MR300L Portable. They both function in the same way, with the obvious difference being that the Lantern provides light, ideal for car or van camping, picnics with the family and friends, you get the picture. Both are supposed to give you a 4.5 meter protection bubble surrounding the device, giving you freedom around the campsite or however you deploy it. The system is powered by a fuel cartridge that lasts for up to 12 hours. This is filled with butane gas and the repellent mats that lasts for up to 4 hours. So 3 of these and 1 of these, 12 hours of protection. These little mats are filled with elethrin, a synthetic duplicate of a natural repellent found in chrysanthemum plants. Brand new mats are blue and once they have been depleted will turn white. To get it going, we just need to insert the fuel cartridge, slide in the mat, flick the switch to its on position, wait for a couple of seconds, then fire it up. You'll be able to see a small glow from the window to indicate that it has been activated, and the protection bubble will be good to go in about 15 minutes. For the MR9L Lantern version, you will need four AA batteries as well to power up the LED lights, but if you're just using the mosquito repellent system, then the two operate in the same way. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say you'll probably wanna fire this up 15 minutes before you actually step outdoors, because waiting 15 minutes, well, in tropical rainforests, that basically means feeding about nine trillion mosquitoes. I'm also curious to find out how well this bubble protection will work if you're on the go. Now I can imagine this working fine if you're within your campsite, but what happens if you're out hiking and walking? I guess there's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. 
I'm out here at Admiralty Park, the largest park in North Singapore. This is a 27 hectare mixed development park which comprises a 7 hectare urban park and a 20 hectare nature conservation park with a diverse mix of secondary forest, mangrove and open grassland habitats. For a more detailed look around the park, do check out my day hike video, link in the description and end screen. By the way, I have no other insect repellent on or around me with the exception of the thermocell. So please do hit the thumbs up like button because I'm literally risking my life here. All right, so I've spent about two and a half hours walking around this beautiful park and the thermocells, the blue mat, the insect repellent mat is still blue. Not as blue as it was when I just started off, but I think I've got about maybe two hours left on this. As per what I said at the beginning of this video, I did fire this up about 15 minutes before starting on my hike just to make sure that the protection bubble was activated. Now I am truthfully super attractive to mosquitoes. In fact, on one of my recent camping trips, I ran out of off mosquito insect repellent spray. And by the time I got home, which was a couple of hours later, I found over 40 mosquito bikes. So yes, I am quite attractive to mosquitoes. Now for the big question, does this work? And do I have mosquito bites on me right now? The answer is yes and yes. So yes, it works. And yes, I've got mosquito bites. Three to be exact, one on my ankle, one on my calf, and one on my back shoulder. I can only assume that they bit me while I was walking. There is also quite a fair bit of heat coming from the thermocell, nothing too intense, but you could definitely feel the warmth. So if you have it clipped like I did, on your shoulder straps, then you may feel it. So it may be annoying for some, but it's still bearable, it's not that bad. Overall, I think the product is pretty good and it should be able to offer you a certain amount of protection, especially if you stay stationary. So if you're gonna go for a picnic or if you're gonna chill in the garden or if you're out for a car and van camping, then yes, I think the thermocell system will work for you. But if you're out for a hike or maybe mountain biking, then maybe you want to apply a layer of mosquito or insect repellent and then bring this along with you just for that double protection. Okay, so that concludes my first impressions. Thank you so much for joining me. Do like and share the video if you found this useful and helpful and also consider subscribing to my channel as well as to follow me on Instagram. Remember to be happy, be safe, be healthy. Bye-bye.